Welcome to Water Level. Today we're going to take a detailed look at the current state of Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States. This update will focus entirely on water levels, where the reservoir stands today, how those levels have shifted in 2025, and how they compare with previous years on record. By the end, you'll have a clear picture of exactly how Mead is doing right now and what that means moving forward. As of September 22, 2025, the water level at Lake Mead is 1,056.79 feet above mean sea level. For context, the lake's full capacity, or full pool, is 1,229 feet. That means the reservoir is currently sitting about 172 feet below full pool. Anyone who has visited Lake Mead in recent years can see the dramatic impact of this drop. Along the canyon walls surrounding the reservoir, you can still see the stark white bathtub ring, a visible reminder of how high the water once stood compared to where it is now. Although the reservoir is far from full, the daily updates show very small movements. Compared to yesterday, Lake Mead rose slightly, just 0.01 feet. This change is almost invisible to the eye, but because of the lake's massive surface area, it still represents millions of gallons of water. These daily changes, whether positive or negative, are the building blocks of the longer-term patterns we track throughout each year. Looking back at the start of 2025, Lake Mead was standing around 1,065 feet. Through the winter and into spring, there was a slight seasonal rise, which happens most years as water makes its way downstream. But as summer gave way to summer, the levels began to decline. By July, the reservoir had dropped into the 1,050s, where it has remained through August and September. For nearly two months now, Lake Mead has been holding steady in a very narrow range, between 1,056 and 1,057 feet. That stability means no sharp surges upward, but also no steep declines. To really understand where the lake stands today, it helps to compare with previous years. In 2020, the reservoir was consistently higher, staying above 1,090 feet during much of the year before gradually declining. In 2021, the story was similar, with water levels in the 1,080s. Compared to those years, 2025 is clearly running much lower. 2022 was the most dramatic year of all. That year, Lake Mead dropped to around 1,040 feet, one of the lowest points in its recorded history. When we compare today's level of 1,056 feet with that low, it's clear that Mead has recovered somewhat since then. In 2023, the reservoir saw a modest rebound, climbing back into the 1,060s by late in the year. 2024 continued that trend, reaching over 1,070 feet before tapering off again. By comparison, 2025 sits below the past two years, but comfortably above the crisis levels of 2022. One of the most important things to notice in these year-to-year -year comparisons is the seasonal rhythm of the reservoir. Typically, there's a small rise in the spring when snowmelt and upstream releases add more water, followed by a decline through summer when demand for water downstream is at its highest. By fall, the pattern usually flattens out. This rhythm is visible in nearly every year of data, although the height of the seasonal peak and the depth of the summer decline vary. In 2020 and 2021, the spring increases were strong enough to keep the lake relatively high. In 2022, the spring bump was so small that it barely made a difference, leading to one of the worst years on record. In 2023 and 2024, the seasonal cycles helped lift the lake somewhat, but in 2025, the spring rise was weak, and by early summer, the reservoir had already slid back into the mid-1050s, where it remains today. So what does it mean that Lake Mead is at 1,056.79 feet? At this elevation, the lake still holds a very large volume of water, and it remains above critical thresholds that would trigger emergency conditions. However, the gap of 172 feet from full capacity shows how far the reservoir is from operating at its intended design. Every foot of elevation represents a huge amount of stored water, so when the lake is more than 170 feet below its peak, the shortfall is massive. The daily reports often show changes of just a few hundredths of a foot, like the 0.01 foot rise reported today. On their own, these tiny shifts might seem insignificant, but they reflect the delicate balance between inflows from upstream and outflows through Hoover Dam. Over weeks and months, these fractional rises and drops add up to the longer-term patterns we see throughout each year. 
Another factor to keep in mind is the relationship between Lake Mead and upstream reservoirs, particularly Lake Powell. While today's update is focused on Mead alone, Powell's releases directly affect how much water arrives here. With Powell currently st in a stable but low position of its own, those inflows help explain why Mead is holding steady rather than making dramatic gains. The simplest way to describe 2025 so far is this, a middle ground year for Lake Mead. The reservoir is not nearly as high as it was in 2020 or 2021, when levels were significantly stronger, but it is also not as low as 2022, when Mead was close to crisis territory. Instead, the lake is stuck somewhere in between, lower than the past two years, but not at record-breaking lows. As we move into the final months of 2025, the big question is whether the reservoir can maintain the stability. If Mead can hover in the mid-1050s, that would be enough to avoid immediate trouble. But if downward pressure increases, the lake could start sliding closer to the dangerous levels seen three years ago. The next few months will be critical in determining how the year closes out. So, to wrap up today's update on Lake Mead, Lake Mead stands at 1,056.79 feet above mean sea level. That is 172 feet below full capacity. Compared to yesterday, the lake rose slightly by 0.01 feet. This year's levels are lower than 2023 and 2024, much lower than 2020 and 2021, but still above the historic lows of 2022. In short, Lake Mead is low but stable, holding in the mid-1050s as we close out September. Whether it holds the line or begins another decline will be the key story to watch as we move into the end of the year. And that brings us to the end of today's update on Lake Mead's water levels. Right now, the reservoir is holding steady in the mid-1050s, far below full capacity but above the worst lows we've seen in recent years. The daily shifts may be small, but every inch tells us something about the balance between what flows in and what flows out. We'll keep tracking these numbers closely, because even the slightest shifts can shape the bigger picture over time. If you want to stay up to date with the latest water level reports, make sure to subscribe and check back often. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next update on Lake Mead.